everyone, this is Harrison Moss with Harrison Moss Music. Back at it with another New Orleans blues piano tutorial for you today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play that left hand pattern that comes from Professor Longhair, also known as Henry Bird. For those who don't know, Professor Longhair was one of the founding fathers of New Orleans blues piano. And in that left-hand pattern, you can hear a very Caribbean, Afro-Cuban influence. So let's get started. The first thing to notice about this rumba left-hand pattern is the rhythm. Fess was all about rhythm. New Orleans piano is all about rhythm. To start internalizing the rhythm of this left hand pattern, I'd strongly recommend listening to songs that Fess uses this left hand pattern almost exclusively. I'd recommend listening to four of his songs where he uses this pattern. These include the New Orleans Standards Junko Partner, Hey Now Baby, Hey Little Girl, and Go to the Mardi Gras. Spend at least 20 minutes listening to these four songs Listen specifically to what he's doing with his left hand as he uses his pattern almost predominantly. Listening to these songs before you actually touch the keys will really help you internalize the feel and the groove. Don't skimp out on listening. Make sure you make time for it. Trust me, it will pay off in spades. Now, the first thing to understand about this left hand pattern, as I mentioned, is the rhythm. I'm going to tap out the rhythm on the speakers here and then play it on the keys. We're in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. Two things to notice about this rhythm. My left hand was coming down a total of three times per measure. The second thing to notice is the left hand was striking on beats one, the end of two, and four. You'll hear accents and emphasis on the end of two all over New Orleans music. That's very common, also common in lots of Latin and Caribbean music. You'll hear that everywhere. Now, as far as the actual notes, we're gonna demonstrate and play this over a blues in the key of C major. The one chord will be C major, the four chord will be F major, and the five chord will be G major. We'll demonstrate with the C, the one chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. One. You'll notice the notes. We're playing the root, the major third, and the five. Essentially going up a, a major triad in root position. Very basic. We can apply these to the other chords, to the F major. One, two, and three, four to the G. Two, and four, one, two, and three, four. Very basic. Now I'll demonstrate this simple rumba left hand pattern with the metronome over the blues form. Here we go. A word on dynamics. 
in terms of playing this dynamically, you'll hear Fess will often hold the notes down. He won't play these staccato. Don't be afraid to hold the notes down. Let them resonate in the lower end of the keyboard. It really provides a harmonic bedrock for what you're gonna play in the right hand, so you wouldn't play the staccato like. fuller, richer sound and achieve the groove that Fess has created. Now before I show you some variations to that left hand pattern, I want to show you some options with the right hand that you could add to play a full groove with both hands. Most simply, with the right hand you could add chord pops in between the spaces and the gaps that are created when the left hand is not playing. For example, you could play single chord pops between each left hand note, and it would sound something like this. And you could apply that principle and change it up. You could play multiple chord pops between each. You could play two chord pops between the first two notes and then three the next. There's really no rules on what to do or how to play this. It would sound something like this. demonstrated sounds much closer to what Fess is actually playing in songs like Hey Little Girl and Go to the Mardi Gras. For example, he plays Go to the Mardi Gras. You get the idea. Experiment with different rhythms different feels in the right hand, listen to what Fess is playing, have fun with it. As far as options for chord voicings, for the chord pops, I'll give you some ideas, but I wouldn't limit yourself. You could do something like on the C, you could do a second inversion C major triad, five, one, three, on the F, you could make it an F9 and the second in the bottom, fifth in the middle, flat seven on the top. And then for the G, you could play something like that with the flat seven, third and the fifth, make it a G dominant seven. It would sound good. I'm going to show you some variations that you can add to spice things up in the left hand. The first variation is you can add a grace note slide from the minor third to the major third. This is very Dr. John style. Dr. John uses a lot of minor third to major third grace note slides in his left hand patterns. It would sound something like this. doing we're playing the same pattern except we're adding a grace note slide or an up slide from the minor third which in this case we're on the C chord the E flat to the E we're sliding with one finger I'd recommend that you can practice that just on its own before you incorporate it into the pattern You could try that on the four chord and the five chord, the F. One, two, and three, four, one. Same thing. 
thing with the five or the G. You get the idea. The second option to vary this is to add octaves. This is what Fess actually plays in many of his recordings. Sometimes he uses single notes, but you'll hear a lot of times he does use these octaves. You're playing the same notes just with octaves. Great exercise for your left hand. workout for your left hand. This is what Fess uses on Hate Little Girl, Go to the Mardi Gras, Junko Partner, um, a lot of his tunes. So definitely want to get that octaves down to get that Fess sound and feel. Third option for variety is to vary the notes that you use in the pattern. So the pattern we've been using so far, one, three, five, and we repeat that across the other chords. Instead of using one, three, five and going up, you can change the direction. Do one, three, five that way. Put a three on the bottom, five in the middle. You could also go to the five. And do the six instead. You could apply that to the other chords. It would sound something like this. You get the idea, just playing around there. Now you also notice I was using multiple patterns within the same measure or within the same two measures. I did that and then I came up. Use our original pattern and I would do that. So don't, you don't have to limit yourself to one pattern the entire two bars or however long you're hanging on the particular chord. Change it up, try out what works for you, what sounds good, what feels right. Another option to vary this left hand is to add an anticipatory um, octave. I call this, this is very much Jelly Roll Morton, Booker, James Booker style of this anticipation on the end of four when you hit the root. Let me play it for you and then I'll walk you through it. Sounds something like this. <laughs> can see that on the four on the end of four I'm hitting that the top of the octave and then coming down on beats one with the bottom of the octave and then proceeding with the pattern as usual. New Orleans piano is filled with these anticipations. As I said this is very much in the style of Jelly Roll Morton and James Booker creates an interesting sound, interesting feel, exciting uh, it really drives the music forward, so feel free to throw that in. To recap, we covered the basic form of this left hand rumba pattern. We covered a lot of different variations, the Dr. John variation, with the minor third to major third up slide. We covered the octaves of Fess. Covered the end of four anticipation 
technique from Jelly Roll Moore and the James Booker. <laughs> Lastly, we covered changing up the notes and direction of notes with octaves. Once again, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial. Please comment below. Love to hear from you. Any questions or feedback or future tutorials you'd like to see. Thank you so much. Have a good one.